Good morning and welcome to another Trade of the Week video from here at Batson Trading Academy. Um, before I show you the trade that triggered this week on the USD JPY currency pair, um, we have been a little bit quiet the last couple of weeks. Uh, the market has been pretty stagnant and we don't force trades here. We're patient and wait for the market to come to us, which is what our clients are taught. Anyway, let's have a look at the trading floor. This is what our clients have lifetime access to. There's plenty of articles on there charts uh, for the week and then also we have this important trading zones of the day section this is the area where we expect the market to come and bounce intraday levels obviously we don't put any levels out today because it's nfp anyway so let's have a look at the usd jpy currency pair chart as mentioned this was provided for our clients for the week as you can see um, resistance supply area at 109.30 coming through that grey zone there. We've been preaching that to our clients the last couple of weeks to watch for this area. Um, and then on Monday, for our PTV preview of the week, again, this area was re-emphasised. Let me show you what happened. Let's go to the live chart. As you can see, on Wednesday night, the market came there, kissed it, almost to the pip at 109.30. I think it went to about 109.29. And it sold off some 140 pips from there. Now let's just take you to the algorithm. There was our important trading zones, as you can see, at 109.30. The market literally kissed it and it sold off, as mentioned, 140 pips. But that trade wasn't um, alone and it was supplemented by couple of market correlations again which we'd flagged up. First one being uh, the Nikkei 225 which is has a direct correlation on USD JPY. This area here was completely overbought. Um, we had our resistance and supply area. Um, been a bit obstinate, a bit stubborn hasn't it? But eventually it did sell off big yesterday which again put downward pressure on USD JPY helping our trade there. And then the other correlation, this one's actually inverse, which is on gold. Again, gold's um, pretty bullish the last couple of days, and it's broken out of this downward bearish channel again. So that's inverse on the USD JPY. So gold bullish, which means the yen will be bullish, which means USD JPY will, should, and hopefully sell off, which is what it's done this week. If this is something that interests you, you can go to our trading um, website on platinumtradingacademy.com. There's plenty of articles here. You've got blogs, you've got trading videos, um, our strategies, got banker trades, end of day trades, intraday, major cap, extreme zones, and long term. These strategies are taught on a one to one mentoring basis with our full time traders. So, again, if that's something that interests you, click on this tab here free forex trading workshop one of our staff will get back to you and if you want a 24 48 hour test drive with a system no problem at all anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next week bye bye